TJ the Black T back with another video. Feels like forever since I've recorded one, but you know, fell in a YouTube hole, then you know, ended up binge watching a whole bunch of shows on Netflix, and all my free time has been occupied <laughs> with other things. But I've stacked up with a whole mess of things that I need to do videos on, a whole bunch of on feet looks I gotta do, so. There's going to be like a barrage of everything. A couple of discussion videos. A couple of topics I want to discuss. You know, I'll make some videos soon. But. My. I say. Mo the more important one that I want to do. Video. Is I want to review the finalized custom that I did. I finally finished up the Air Force One Lux custom that I was doing. Um, I don't want to show it to you guys. Um, it being my work, you know, it being something I, I put time and effort into, I am definitely proud of it. Um, I know there's people that do better customs that have, can do this and better, better job than I did, but I think it turned out amazing and I'm completely satisfied and happy with it being not only my custom, but my first attempt and my first custom ever. So this is the finalized product. For those of you that saw the review video when I first unboxed the, you know, the model, the shoe itself, when it was all blacked out, um, you know what it looks like. But this is what I did. Um, now there has been the actual images of what they're now deeming the top three. Air Jordan 1 where it has the Royals, Chicago's, and Bread's. But um, I did this concept when it was still like a, just a concept for Jordan. And it was uh, an image of what they were calling or what it was being called the What the Air Jordan 1. But now more images have come out and now they're saying it's called a, you know, a, a top three. So that's what it is. And so this is, I guess, the inspiration for it. You have the black, I mean, you have the royal blue back paneling for the royal ones. You have the white mid panel here as the Chicago ones. And then you have the red toe for the Chicago ones. You know, did the same thing on the interior side. I wasn't sure what laces I wanted to do. I know in the first part when I did just the one shoe itself, I used the flat black laces that I got from Rope Lace Supply. I don't know, for some reason, the, the laces are fine. There's no problem with the laces. Rope Lace Supply did an awesome job with these. It's not the lace itself. For some reason, I was just staring at them on this shoe, and there was just something that I didn't like. I don't know, it was just bothering me. So I switched it up. Um, I almost went back to the original laces that came with them, but I was like, no, no. Then I realized I had a a pair of Yeezy inspired laces that I purchased when I was doing a, a Yeezy Nike ID, which I ended up returning. So I just had I was stuck with the laces. So I had those like just in my drawer, my dresser, you know, for a while. You know, I figured I'd use them eventually, and I guess, you know, I said, let me throw them on, see what's up. And I just like the way it looks, because, you know, this has some gold accents already, with the Nike Air there, done in the gold stitching. You have the eyelid up top, the top eyelets, done in gold. And you also have the black Nike Air, done in like a uh, gold foil. So I figured, you know, the other gold easy aglets I think you know really set it off and really brought out the other gold accents so I kept that and this is what the final product is um, the did have a all iced out sole and the I kept the white insole the same just because you know white white I figured that was cool and kept the black sock liner but this is the finalized version of my custom I do have the other one back there, and this, you know, a little display there, but this is it. I mean, it was, pr it was pretty simple, 
but you know things can always go wrong so you know though I am proud of this being my first custom and how it came out it was definitely I did pick a simple custom to do you know just painting the back panel the mid panel and the toe box on you know the exterior and interior I did pick something simple but I'm proud of the way this came out if you like the way these came out um, you know hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button as well you know it goes a long way you know more subscribers more views definitely motivates me to continue going and bring more content out and even try some more customs you know this is definitely something I enjoy doing and will definitely you know do in the in, in the future um, I had fun with the experience and you know it did, wasn't a waste got a cool pair of sneakers out of it and uh, cuz you know more than likely all the hype beasts are gonna scoop up those top threes and I ain't never gonna see them so <laughs> this is close as I'm gonna get but I'm cool with that cuz you know they came out pretty dope so I'll be doing an on foot video of these coming up soon uh, stay tuned for that whole bunch of uh, review videos on foot videos sneaker uh, discussions plenty coming out um, and you know till next time TJ Black T is out